Hello on Wednesday the 9th of June and myself and the Reverend Barbara hope that everything is still going well for you and your families. Our opening sentence. Awake us Lord to your love, your light and your leading. Amen. Today's readings are from Psalm 78 verses 1 to 4 and Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 19. I recently received this postcard and if you can't see it very well we'll put a picture on at the end of our post. It was from a friend who was on their way to Iona, full of optimism and really looking forward to their stay and recharging their spiritual batteries. You'll note on the picture on the postcard that the sea is completely calm and there is a perfect cloudless sky. I visited Iona on a couple of day trips and whilst the weather was okay it certainly wasn't perfect. It was actually grey skies and low cloud for most of the time. As for my friend, their trip to Iona was just before the recent spell of excellent weather and you may well remember this time because of the howling winds and downpours we endured. The conditions off the coast of Scotland were so bad that my friend's tent was destroyed and they had to come home early. Yet Iona was the place where Christians from Ireland based themselves and that was their choice. The rerun of the series How the Celts Saved Britain is partially about this. The person most frequently associated with Iona is Columba. We often hear people like Saint Paul speaking about suffering for the sake of the gospel and I think that there'd be a considerable amount of hardship linked to living on Iona in the late 6th century, which was when Columba lived there. But he was there because that's where God wanted him to be. Columba found joy in the gospel and was strong in faith and hope. He wanted people to know about Jesus and how important Jesus is in someone's life. He taught the Christian faith and how it can be applied in anyone's daily life. The Christian faith is for all and over the years Iona has continued to be a place of Christian ministry which has inspired people in their ongoing faith journeys. My next prayer is a prayer linked to Columba. Almighty God who filled the heart of Columba with the joy of the Holy Spirit and with a deep love of those people in his care, may your people follow him strong in faith, sustained in hope and one in love which binds us to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's give thanks for all who shared the good news of Jesus over the centuries. Let's pray for those places continuing to struggle to contain COVID-19. And let's pray that people get the rest which they need. I now come to the Lord's Prayer for today and invite you to join me in praying. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen 
and today's bless blessing. The God of hope give you courage, Christ the Redeemer give you joy, and the Holy Spirit give you strength. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all today and evermore. Amen.